Okay, one of the things that uh, I was thinking about and going over uh, earlier today was the you know argument between grace and uh, and works, and really it's not really that um, the answer of like how are you saved? Is it by works or is it by grace? And that whole argument. The answer of grace is really a lesser one, and uh, I mean it's not a non sequitur, but it's a uh, it's, it doesn't lead anywhere if you just answer with that. And I'll give you an example of what I'm talking about. So if we, if we said, if we were trying to get to a store, let's say we're trying to get to Walmart and we said, Hey, how do you get to Walmart? To say, um, you get there by roads. That doesn't help me get to Walmart. Of course you get there by roads, right? You take the roads to get to Walmart. What helps me is if, you tell me the roads I need to take to get to Walmart, not just that you, I get there by roads. So if you say, if I say, how do you get to Walmart? And you say by roads, I still can't get to Walmart. But if you say you, you go down first street and then you take a left on main street and then you go up three blocks and take a right on fourth street. And then it's at the corner of fourth street and church street. That's where Walmart is. That is how I can get to the doors of Walmart and the grace works thing is the exact same thing. We are trying to get to a supernatural place and we are, even though we have a supernatural part of us, we are natural beings. So who do we at? Who, who is the one that's going to allow us to get to that supernatural place? The supernatural owner of that supernatural place, right? The one who owns the place and owns the roads. So if I say, how do I get there? By grace. Okay, how does grace get me there? And the owner tells us how we get there. What does he say? He says, you follow the Ten Commandments. You're going to be judged according to your works. Those are the street names that allow you to walk into the supernatural place. But just saying grace gets you there and all you need is grace is, the, is tantamount to saying all you need is roads to get to Walmart, but you don't know the address and you don't know the way to go. So going over that in my head, I just thought it was a, a good way to show that yes, grace is necessary, but the builder of grace, the builder of the roads is giving us instructions on which roads to take how to access that grace and every answer that he ever answers go through matthew go through mark go through luke every answer that he ever answers is works 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 okay he says once you'll be judged according to your words uh the things you speak but works 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 is what he says so it is really um and if you think about it uh you know the, there's can be a couple of diff different arguments there well you know paul talks about grace 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 yes okay so he talks about the lesser, the more general stuff. Doesn't the Messiah himself say that the servant is not greater than the master? Doesn't it make sense then that if Paul is talking in generalities about grace and how all of that operates, that's fine. But the robust, the meat of it all on how you actually get there is given to us by the Messiah, the master, because the servant isn't greater than the master. And somebody might quip, oh, well, you know, you could take a helicopter and fly in there. You wouldn't even need any roads. No, you can't because you have to go through the gate. Anyone who tries to enter not through the gate, but get to Walmart by helicopter, they are not legitimate. They are not legitimate sheep. So I was just something I was going over um, in my head today and thought I'd share with you guys. Like in Pilgrim's Progress, there's some that try to get in. They come over the wall and they end up in the slough. Right. Exactly. That's very simple and profound. Uh, what do you think it's possible to live a grace filled life or a favor filled life without automatically doing the works? Or is it just a boast? Um, I think that, well, there's a misnomer, you know, about grace. A lot of people conflate grace with mercy and, and vice versa. Um, but to me, the grace filled life in the sense of how, um, well, you, the way you just framed it is different than how most people see it. Um, but um, it is, I think that certainly you can, but that doesn't mean that it's going to result in supernatural uh, eternity with him right i mean you can if all your if 
if all your prayers are requesting grace for you and you would never do any good works, he might very well answer those prayers here on earth, but Mm -hmm. the works are the roadmap that gets you in. So then you would be, you know, that would almost be like prosperity gospel in a sense where you have this favor filled life here on earth, but that's all you're ever asking for. So what good does it do you? A better translation of that word is favor. And I kind of turn it a little bit and think of favors. You've got to be, we can use it, use it that way. Favor evangelism. One of the strongest ways to evangelize is to ask a favor of somebody that opens a door, but yeah, you can't, you can't go to the Walmart unless you pass some buildings. Right. You've got to, you've got to do the work to get to Walmart. Great. Got anything else to say? (laughs) Oh, I've got lots, but not on this subject.